check the tire pressures, Scotty. There's all the cars. 160 liters on my roof. Petrol guzzler. There's Wayne. Matt. And yeah, so we came to Mirka at Sarah and then um, onto the gun barrel I went. Ah, Rodeos. Pain's fine. We were here the last time we went to Karajini. Oh, on Yo, 229 a litre. Pain's fine. We will find a lot of pain if we don't have money for petrol. So, Mount Magnet and Mikathara. And then from, uh, at Mikathara, I think we're going to turn off towards the Gun Barrel Highway. Okay, Mount Magnet. Next to the road and there's a quarry. Not sure exactly what mineral we're mining here, but um, looks like they um all done with operations. It's quite a big hole. So it's called Hill 50 Gold. Mount Magnet Gold Operations, so they were mining for gold here. And anyway, no swimming today in this hole. This is the big bell. Big Bell Ghost Town. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, so this whole Big Bell Ghost Town. It's just a few buildings left. Yo, this would have been a nice room. Yeah, this would have been nice. Nice. To be honest. How many Bowman do you know? Why is it up? <laughs> Imagine of all the, uh, you know, the, the timing you, you start getting a cave in here. <laughs> Just yeah, gonna be here. Yeah. When I lived in America, there were three Aussies huh? in, in Bartersville. Yeah. We're all called Wayne. Wayne. And they're all like, and they're the only ones I know, the only ones I know. Yeah. Imagine this was your house. Oh my goodness, it's so nice. Mm -hmm. There's different rooms. And yeah, yeah. That's nice. Oh. Look at this. Like archway. Really nice. Probably um, there's people gonna report us. Oh, there's like a bonus left. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. It looks like a cellar, right? Look at that! Look at that fish there on the wall. Mm. Big Bell Hotel and we've got patrons coming for a <laughs> when you once you check in yeah. you will never leave <laughs> <laughs> once you check in you end up right there <laughs> Dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling. It's the only thing that saves me. Mm -hmm. okay. it's hot for the evening. So tonight we're having rice with pickled fish. Well, go rock. Yeah. Here we go. Aboriginal elder. 
Original art. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Let's go. Walking up Welga Rock. It's not down to Augustus, but it's good for the heart rate. There's a Australia's. Yes, it's on top of Welga Rock, and um, very nice view. You know what, what brought on those fault codes? Those corrugations. Yeah. It shook something loose. So it's the start of the gun barrel highway. We are heading to Karniji. On our way. Let the trip begin. We're finally here after a day and a half. Woohoo! You can see all the camels that's been here. Near this water hole. Right there. We had, uh, I'm not sure what creek is, I think a uh, cattle pen. And uh, so we're gonna <laughs> camp for tonight. Looks good. Very nice. Peter, Wayne chose the best spot for the most flies. So it's a trade off. Good morning on the second day of Gun Barrel Highway. Just find another. Very nice spot. It's like a creek here. And um, just woke up and across the creek there's a cattle pen. And the bulls were going off last night. They made a massive racket. I mean, didn't they? station so we'll maybe have a shower there and um, fill up for sure and then we're on to Warburton so we're just quickly stopping for a toilet break and um, some nibbles we're 20 kilometers from Carnegie station and um, truly on the gun barrel highway now 19 kilometers Okay, we've made it to Carnegie Station. Last stop for water, fuel and supplies. Next service is 500 kilometers to Warburton. There's no water or other facilities until then. Nice. Station. We're parked, just went for a shower. There's the showers and at the bottom you can camp a bit if you want. Very nice. Very nice. Where is, you gotta find that um, lake bell up, I think that's it there. No. I think that's it, where the statues are. And luckily they had some petrol. There's a lovely lady helping me out. <laughs> <laughs> is looking off the station they um they've only been here a week and a half um they looking off the station while they're herding cattle and um they're traveling all over australia 
and they traveling with this nice <laughs> chef um, Z Z1 yeah so um again with this car Mike and Sam you can go all over wouldn't mind having one of these for sure yeah that's very nice So the guys herding the cattle come here and play footy after they've rounded up the cattle. So the footy oval, the patrol, go! So we're on top of Mount William Lambert. So when I climbed Mount Augustus at the top, you get the uh, same thing like this. Yeah. A bit better build, but uh, I was thinking, is that what you get after killing yourself? Yeah. So the road is starting to get a bit rough, and uh, we decided to head down. I think we're all going like 28 and 30 psi. So, um, airing down and then we'll be out of here. If they can't survive here, who can? Come on, Kaden, okay, yeah. pump, let's see. Go. Go for a pump. Go. Caden is a master pumper. I oh know it tastes like anything. Sweet. <laughs> as, I, as I watch his name, says sweet water. We're at the Glen Bedell marker. But 230 odd kilometers past Kanhiji station. So another majestic camp spot. Beautiful. Some fellow travelers and bikers. The group that they just passed, they said that the next um, 30 to 40 k's is full on rough. Corrugations, river crossings, um, so it's going to be slow going for the next 40 or so k's and then uh, it should become a bit better. Momentum. There in the front is Mount Bedell.
so we've got hundred miles to go. Bag and then you don't can this side. Yeah. Roller, no roller, roller <laughs> off. That's what wrong? we're finding here with um, Scott. You got this roller off the roof rack, and <laughs> it's true to his name, it wants to roller off. My 100 litre bladder with 60 litres of jerry cans, so I have 20 litres left. Chock and block full. And now the diesel boys. This roadhouse only opens up at 9. And um, now they're all calculating diesel usage. See, Wayne is even on his calculator on his phone. He's mad. So we'll see if they, the next town is, I think, Leverton. It's about 310 kilometers from here and um, yeah, so far so good, just had a really flat tire, lost my antenna tip and um, my one spotlight came off. Just outside Laverton and Wayne's given us some of his, you see? Cheese and jalapeno sausages. Very nice. Goodness. Some spare ribs. All in Mr. King. Thanks, Wayne. We had the super pit. Still an active open groove mine. Been here a few times. It's always nice to see. So long ago, and that time, um, this left side was here, but um, yeah, it looked totally different. And there was nothing on the right. And now, if you look on the right, there's a different new hole over there. And um, Scott was just saying they get about 20 grams per ton, which is really quite rich. Fire, more fire, lovely fire, you like fire. I've been dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling. It's the only thing that saves me. Mm -mm. Hey, I don't know if I told you. That I think you're beautiful And how oh, I can't wait to hold you Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling 